Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today is Tuesday, October 27th. Uh, small green day today plus 302.50, so $302.50. Uh, positive on the mighty 90s by $154 total. Had a nice winner in NVIDIA, loser in Piton, small losers in Intel and Tesla, nice winner in Boeing. Uh, loser in Twitter, winner in Apple, and loser in Facebook. Uh, did one pairs trade today between the NASDAQ and Dow, uh, just a three by two in the micros, booked $160.50. And then on the runner front, uh, Zoom got me pretty good, but still net on the day plus 12 bucks. So 302.50 altogether. Let's take a look at some of these trades and what happened. So starting out with the mighty 90s, uh, started out of the gate on NVIDIA. Had a nice trade here at this big push up. We got short right here at the top, rode this thing down and booked a nice profit right out of the gate. That was our very first trade. Uh, Peloton, let's go to uh, Peton here. So Peloton uh, had this big push up and then we, uh, and then it came down about right here. We, we got long trying to see if there's going to be a bounce continuation up. It started to bounce and then just rolled over and just kept going, kept going. So I ended up, uh, I did hold on a little bit uh, long. I waited for this little bounce here and got out right here, but still took a loss overall in Peloton. In Intel, uh, I had this big flush early in the morning. Uh, try to get long right here. It did start to bounce for us and then just rolled over. When it started to chop around, I just cut my losses and got out. It would have it would have worked out, but I did not want to fight. The stock was super weak all day. Didn't want to fight it if it continued lower. So I just cut my losses and got out of that one. A uh, small loser in Tesla just cut my losses quick in, in this one as well. And this was a situation where um, it started off very strong and then was pulling back to this pivot. And so I just, I got in right at the pivot. It ended up kind of chopping around below the pivot. So I just, I just got out, uh, kind of once again, this thing bounced not too long after, uh, not too long after I got out, but that's okay. I'm just, uh, you know, cutting, you've got to, you've got to cut your losses quickly and in, in specific situations like this. And so that's exactly what we did. So no, uh, no harm, no foul. Uh, Boeing plus two thirty four caught a nice, um, caught a nice uh, uh, mighty ninety trade in Boeing. Um, when it when it pushed up right here, we got short right here and rode this thing back down for a nice two hundred thirty four dollar winner. Twitter kind of uh, double whammied us here. We got um, let me let me zoom in on the chart. So in Twitter, this big push up, uh, and as soon as it got you know up here, uh, took a position and then added to it at this pivot, looking for a a flush down. Never got it. Pushed up above this pivot here. It kind of chopped around, and so I, I bailed. Twitter was super strong. The other thing I didn't realize is that Twitter was at all time highs. Had I known that I, I typically take a take a glance at the daily chart but i did not in this case i probably would not have shorted twitter here then when twitter started to pull back uh i was looking for a potential continuation higher and it just kind of kept grinding 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 lower and to a point where i was i was basically done trading for the day so i just bailed on the trade so kind of got double whammy here took a little loser on the mighty 90 and a little loser on the runner a uh, really nice winner in apple uh, in Apple, I uh, had this big push up and then it pulled back. We got long right here and I got out of a bunch of it just on this little move here, but I held uh, a, a small piece all the way up here. And then when it pulled back, I added some more and rode it back up here. So just a beautiful trade in Apple. And then lastly, Facebook uh, took a little short here when we had this big push up. I was looking for a little snapback. Never got it, I just kind of kept pushing up. So I just cut my losses pretty quick right there for a small loss. Uh, and then on the runner front, a Zoom was the biggest loser here. Um, Zoom looks really weak. And so when it started consolidating, bouncing back up to yesterday's close, that's where I got short. It pushed higher. 
Uh, we got a, a Mighty 90 set up here with the volume, so I actually added to that, and then it just kind of chopped around. I uh, ended up getting out for a for a loser. That was my biggest loss. So my biggest loss was Zoom. My biggest winner was Baba. So let's go to Baba. Uh, I was looking for a, a good place to enter. I mean, Baba just looked strong all day, and, and I didn't get in until after it was up here above, uh, right here is when I got in. Uh, started consolidating above this pivot, above yesterday's high, and I just rode this right here. So just a, a nice little winner there in Baba. Uh, Microsoft was another nice one. Uh, I was talking about this in the, actually I got into this right before we stopped our live stream. Uh, so what happened was uh, initially Microsoft looked weak and then it pulled back up, back to the highs of the day and started consolidating. So we took a long position right here and rode this thing all the way up to the pivot. So nice, uh, nice trade there in Microsoft. And then let's see, lastly is Facebook. So in Facebook, um, I did take that small loser on the mighty 90, but then when it pulled back here, uh, I was looking for a continuation higher, got long here and rode it back up to there. Nice winner in Facebook. So overall plus $302 and 50 cents, just hitting doubles and singles yesterday and today which is totally cool. Um, I'm all good with that. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we will see you tomorrow.